Hello everybody and welcome to the Polifani Review YouTube channel. My name is Raisa Kimi, I am the online journalist and I have some of the journalists with me here today. Uh, we are going to do something exciting for Heritage Day. As you know, Heritage Day is celebrated on the 24th of September each year, as well as Friday. But instead of focusing on the bright aspect, we have decided to do a culture test. So as you can see before you, we have different dishes from different cultures that can be found here in Polokwani. And uh, today each journalist is going to try a different dish from a different culture. And uh, what we're going to do now is introduce all the dishes. I will start. I have got a traditional Malay dish or drink rather. Uh, it's called Faluda. Uh, Miranda, what do you have? Hi, I'm Miranda Chauke and I have Bath and Scott. Hello, my name is Umpawa Manenje and now I've got Fit Good and Mints. I am Marietta Swanepoel and I have the Sonda to the sky. I am Ola Yubar and I have the Sonda to the sky. I am Maloni and I have the Sonda. Alright, so over here I have all the dishes. They are on a piece of paper. And to make this a fair taste test, each journalist is going to pick one of these. Um, and they will then know what dish they are going to test. So, Miranda, you have first choice. Umpa. Marietta. Oh, yeah, let's open. Yes, you can open it. Just <laughs> <Not> checking. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, let's go around the table and see what each journalist is going to be testing. Let's start off with Milani. Okay, I'm tasting a mokwinya with mints. Rihanna? I am living with Falula. Oh, Naka. <laughs> okay, Miranda, I am tasting your bucket score, which is a first for me. <laughs> I drank the lemonade. And I have the burgos roll. Yay, meat for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Milan Kumite rasks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's give it a taste. I don't know who is going to go first, who volunteers to go first. first. Alright, so Milani um, and Umpa will give you your dish. You have some of this yummy goodness. <laughs> Solar stuff, so spend up. Can you hear like a fun? Make a solar drink. I can Okay. With your pink drink. With my very pink drink. 
Okay, Kala, what's your before I taste it? Why pink? Uh, the pink color actually comes from rose syrup. So basically, faluda is made with vanilla ice cream, milk, and rose syrup. It's a tra traditional Cape Malay dish, and this is wow. usually had um, during the month of Ramadan. So uh, many families will make this uh, for people to break their fast with, um, and also on Eid day. Some people add um, jelly in and seeds as well, just to give the drink some texture, but my family prefer it uh, plain like this, and oh, it's actually yeah. quite refreshing. And what do you it's think? Plain. It's plain. It's fantastic because only it's plain. It's, really <laughs> nice. it's like, wow, it's like a It's nice, it's really It's very wow. nice, and I think... And I wouldn't say it's plain. I think um, the rose flavor also gives it a, mm. a different it taste because with the milkshake you usually use to like mm. strawberry mm. or lime, mm. you yeah. know. So the rose is definitely definitely no, a different it's very, flavor. Very cool. So are all the other flavors flower flavored? Um, no, this is traditionally the only flavor that you get because oh. you have to use the rose syrup. Um, but if you do want to make it at home, you can actually find the rose syrup um, in Nirvana at some of the shops in Nirvana. It's a small little bottle, but the syrup is quite thick. So when you're making faluda, you have to taste it because sometimes the rose flavor can be a bit overpowering. So you just either add more milk or you either add more ice cream. And uh, this is a favorite among children as well. So. Oh, I can believe that. <laughs> I can believe that. Okay, who's next? I'll go next. You're asked now. Yeah, I like this. So, the Dorebus Kite is a very interesting thing. And the Kurut Depression Kite, that is a very good thing for the Frauen's and the Kamehameha to help you. And for the Kamehameha to help you with your talent. And the Frauen to go and say, I'm going to give you a recipe to make it. The Bestand is a good thing. The Kite is a good thing. And it's a good thing. And so, the Oma Bes Kite is a good thing. I think that would go very nicely with a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah, yeah usually yeah, you drink it with coffee. Do you drink it or do you eat it? <laughs> she loves it. Okay, I'll keep this for my father. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, can I have some? Yes, you lost her. She's lost her. Okay. I'm not lost. Okay. Yeah. So, which one is it? Yeah. 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 Which one is it? Which one is it? Yeah. 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 Which one is Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> obviously, obviously. <laughs> so, what is your Boerenbos is a is a thing that will for a few years come. When you last attended the school, you had to go to your Boerenbos to try it. So, you have to get your set. You begin the Boerenbos to learn more. For all the things that the place is different, the way of doing things is bizarre. It's all like different things. It's the least of the Boerenbos to learn. But for many times, it's also for other things. We get different traditions. It's not just that we have to chat with other people. We can learn. Any other event you like on Google or the web, what's your most popular post on Google? Really? Really? How? Just type in Google or Google. Take your time. 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 This is very very nice. I love how the chakalaka actually brings out the flavor of the meat. It actually feels like a full meal, not just a. Buddha Bosco, this is fantastic. So, how else can you enjoy a Buddha Bosco? Can you add other veggies, maybe onion rings? You can, however, you want, if you want more to find those more, um, if you want to do even the Buddha Bosco, change it by doing a ration or something, you can also do that. Oh. Um, yeah, and you like the other one, they put cheese and then tomato and mustard, which is your normal, um, which is nice because the shops now have a mustard and tomato sauce that they mix together, which they actually call for all sauce. Oh, which most of the places use for um, good oil. Okay, I am next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to say I was a bit intimidated because this is the first time I'm ever tasting scope. Obviously, I have had uh, beef and uh, lamb before, but this looks interesting. So I am going to go the traditional route with my hands. That's the way to enjoy it. And uh, okay, so that's basically a uh, beef head. They 
make it user friendly and tear apart the meat so that you can enjoy it easier. And this is usually popular for people going on lunch, usually you buy it in the streets and stuff. That's where it's like the perfect place to get it oh, oh. in the streets. And then also mm. for the people on weekends, they have a get together. That's usually the go-to meet as well when yeah. you're not opting for a bride. So yeah, I hope that's... The meat <laughs> is so soft, it literally melts in your mouth. And it actually tastes like any other cut of beef that you can stew. It doesn't taste any different. And it goes really nicely with the top as well. But I would say that I would like some chocolate over it. So <laughs> it would make it a little bit better. Can you spot the eye there? <laughs> While we have everybody here, is there another dish that someone else would like to taste? Everything? Uh, no. I'd like to taste that. I'd like to taste that. No. Yeah. 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 I want the lemonade. I actually okay. would also like to taste some lemonade. <laughs> Can I have another glass? Okay. Actually, Miranda, I have a question for you. Where can you find Scorpia in Polokan? Um, usually we have the street vendors who have the like street side restaurants type of vibes where they cook in meals that's where you can usually find them okay it's actually not that bad the lemonade is really good mm. Mm. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. Yeah, i'm gonna have another bite of this <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really good. This is really good. Nice. Really, really good. Oh yeah. But this is also fantastic. Oh Guys, this this is the picture. <laughs> 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 Alright, so there you have our culture taste test. Um I think let's go around the table and um everybody is going to rate their dish out of ten. Um, and let's see which dish scored the highest. So we will start with Milani with the Maguinia. Um, wow, your Maguinia definitely a 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Rihanna? Um, I guess Moldova, that can my bag. It's kind of like that. 11 out of 10. <laughs> Easily. Um, I think I will give the score an 8.5 out of 10. I think I would have liked a little something on the side just to accompany the meat. Um, but this meat is so soft and cooked so well that I think I would actually have to get it. I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. I just need a quick time for like lemon. I think my boys are out of like this up. So, yo, you might think. Oh, <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. It's definitely worth it. Great. And then the rasps are awesome. I absolutely love them. It would be nice to have a meat tea or something. So I'd definitely give them a nine and a half. <laughs> so there you have it. There is our culture taste test um, for Heritage Day. Um, as we said, all of these dishes can be found here in Polokwane. So if you're looking for something different to try on Heritage Day or get involved with another culture, um, here you have some ideas and we hope that uh, you will go out and try something different. Um, we are all South African after all. So from the review team, uh, we would like to wish everybody a happy Heritage Day. Um, and yeah, we'll, we will see you next time. Bye.